Hello and welcome to this Crestron Fusion support video on how to install Crestron Fusion software. While this is a support video, it is strongly recommended that you read over the various documentation provided for the Crestron Fusion software since there are various prerequisites that must be met to complete the installation. Assuming these requirements are met, we can continue with the installation. The first thing we will want to do is run the Crestron Fusion installer as an administrator. The installer will look something like this. This will then open a Windows command prompt. This is normal. This shell will check the system for required programs. Any programs not installed will be installed automatically. Please note that this process could take a while. Once that is finished, the Freshon Fusion setup wizard will automatically pop up. You can click Next. Then select the Agreement button and click Next. The wizard will then prompt for an installation location. You may change this location if you wish, but otherwise go with the default, then click Next. The window will then ask about program shortcuts. If you don't want any shortcuts, check the box on the bottom left. Otherwise, click Next. You can then opt to not create a desktop item by selecting the checkbox. Final review window will then show up. Click the install button. We can now wait for the software to install. This may take a while. Once the install is done, you can click finish, but the Freshon Fusion Service Manager window will pop up regardless. The manager window will now ask for credentials. Here you can choose to use a local system account or a service account. Depending on which setup you have, click the correct method. If you are using a service account, enter in the required credentials. Then, click Install. The following page is mostly informational, but it does contain a link to the crush on support information. From here, you can click Next. This will bring us to the security page. If you have set up Windows Security Groups, then go ahead and select the Windows button and enter in your credentials. Otherwise, we will use Forms, which is web-based. If you are unsure, select Forms. Don't worry, this can be changed later. From here, click Next. The next screen will ask you for database information. Where it says Server Name, enter the name of the SQL Server, leave the default port, and enter in a database name. This will be the name of the database that Crestron Fusion will create on the SQL Server. In the next boxes, enter in your credentials to access a database. Make sure to select the correct option depending on how your environment is operating, either under Windows or SQL Authentication. If you chose Windows Authentication, make sure your login is in the format of user at domain. From here, click on Test Connection. Should an error occur, double check all of your credentials, specifically the ones dealing with your connection to the database server. Make sure that the server is online, and make sure that there is no firewall preventing a connection to the server. If you successfully test the connection, then click Next to move on to licensing. To obtain licensing information, you will need to contact the Crestron Fusion support group. First, click the Update button next to the Crestron Fusion RV component, then send that customer ID to the support group. We will then provide you with a site key to enable your license. Once you enter in the site key, click OK, then click Next to move on to the Services screen. Here you will want to enter in the same credentials used in the beginning, whether it was a local system account or a service account. Finally, click Next, then click Apply. This will put the finishing touches on the Freshon Fusion install and should run properly as long as we don't get any red text inside the window. After the settings apply, you will see both a Freshon Fusion Service Manager and Freshon Fusion status bars at the bottom of the window. Click on the play button next to Freshon Fusion and the light should go from red to green after a couple of seconds. Freshon Fusion server is now up and running. To make sure the connection is fully established, click on the tools tab on the left side of the window, then click on the web client button. This will open a browser that will then take you to your Freshon Fusion web client. You should also be able to access the server from any computer with Freshon Fusion credentials. Simply open a web browser and enter the web client URL which should be in the format of primary URL slash fusion slash web client. 
Thank you for watching.